That is kind of contradictory in the sense that I am 100% sure that COVID positive patients will be voting in this election, just that they have not been tested. So it is definitely discriminatory simply because those individuals went to get tested and their results came back positive. They are now being denied their democratic and their legal right to vote. I heard the Prime Minister cite the law and he, he cited the statutory instrument which provides that individuals who are COVID positive are to remain in quarantine. And while that is the case, the fact remains it cannot function to deprive you of your legal and democratic right. The statutory instrument cannot trump the law. Under the Representation of People Act at Section 7, there is provision for disqualified individuals who are not allowed to register. Of course, that includes individuals who are under 18 years of age, individuals who are of unsound mind, or those who are on a death sentence. But it does not provide for people suffering with illnesses like COVID uh, from voting. And so we have a contradictory situation here where the Prime Minister is relying on a statutory instrument in order to block an entire group of individuals, I think it is around uh, 1,200 now, positive patients from voting. And so we in the People's United Party, we feel it is the obligation of the Elections and Boundaries Office to devise a responsible and a safe plan for COVID patients to vote. One of the reporters last week proposed something exceptional, and that is that we should allow them to vote by proxy. I am sure that we can get all of the political parties in Belize to agree on the list of individuals who are COVID positive, who want, who want to vote, who want to exercise their franchise. And if we can agree on that list, we can then agree to have them vote by proxy. I don't see why it is that we will be depriving those individuals from their democratic right.